Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010. My name is Dan McAllister. I'm here from LearnIt Corporation, and I'll be your instructor today. This is what you see when you first open Access 2010. Unlike Excel or Word, where they hand you a blank sheet of paper or a blank spreadsheet to work on, here you have to tell it what sort of database you want to work on. Are you going to create a blank one? Are you going to start from some template? We've got templates that are on your hard drive. We've got templates that are available from MicrosoftOffice.com. Um, the ones that are on your hard drive you can create. The ones that are here from office.com you would have to download, but then they would be available in your sample templates folder from then on on your hard drive. I'm going to start in the sample templates folder, not necessarily because I want to start a brand new database about something, but um, let me just go there to start with. I'm going to double click on sample templates. Most of the templates in here are um, databases with no data in them maybe a couple of tables, maybe a couple of queries to keep track of your faculty or your charitable contributions. Um, Microsoft Access can be used for all sorts of databases, but one of these databases is different. The, the one named Northwind, uh, the template called Northwind, is actually a fake database with fake data in it so that you can uh, go in and study how to set up queries and reports and so forth. It's got a lot of data in it, so you wouldn't want to open up this database and like erase all that data and put your own in. Uh, that's what the other ones here are for, but I'm going to click on uh, Northwind, and this is the first one we're going to study here for a moment. And the reason I'm picking this one is that it's installed with every copy of Microsoft Access since about 1995. So no matter which version of Access you're studying, you can always start with this Northwind database. So I'm going to click on Northwind, and over here at the right-hand side, you'll see it's ready to make this new file. Now the older uh, file name extensions for older versions of Access, mdb.mdb, now notice five-letter extension .accdb. And like all good Microsoft Pro, uh, and Adobe programs, it's ready to drop this database in the My Documents folder. I think I'm going to put mine out on my desktop. So I'm going to come over here and click on the Browse button, and I'm going to navigate to my desktop. And then it's ready to name this database northwind.accdb. I say, that sounds like a good name. I'm going to click on OK. And here it um, feels like I've actually done something. But all I've done is tell it where to create it. I haven't actually created it. So as the last step, I'm going to click on the Create button. And here comes our Microsoft Access database. So you've had a chance to see how to start Microsoft Access and open the Northwind Traders database. I'm going to give you a chance to catch up. I've created this small Word document to remind you of the steps that we did. When we started Microsoft Access 2010, we then went to the top of the screen and clicked on the Sample Templates button. From the list of sample templates, we chose the template named Northwind, and it was ready to create that in the My Documents folder. Instead, what I'd like you to do is go to the right-hand side of that window and click on the Browse to Folder button, navigate to the desktop as the place to create that. When you click OK, it doesn't create it yet. You'll be returned to the Creation window, and as the last step, you have to click the Create button in the bottom right-hand corner. That will open up your Northwind Traders database, so I'm going to put the video on pause right now. You catch up to me.